I'd like to show you how to attach the Blueview multi-beam imaging sonar integration skid to your Pro 4 remotely operated vehicle submersible. I'm going to show you how to remove the ballast skid that's already on there, put on the new integration skid, and plug it in and make sure it's all ready and connected for you to open it up and uh, use sonar underwater. So the first thing we want to do is flip the Pro 4 upside down on our, our flat surface preferably with no skid so we don't fall on the floor or anything. Uh, the first move we want to make in removing the current ballast skid on the Pro 4 is to remove the strain relief wire here. So it's simple Phillips head screw that we want to take apart from the skid. Alright, make sure we get that, keep that little screw kind of in the, in the wire there because uh, we're going to remount this on the back of the uh, Blueview skid when, that, when we get that on. All right, so there's four screws uh, to get off to take off the current ballast skid on the Pro 4. There's two on the rear here and two on the front, uh, so it's pretty simple. They do have uh, some nylon spacers underneath them, so we want to make sure that they either stay in there or they get transferred over to the Blue View skid. So these are where a power screwdriver comes in really handy. All right, so see the, the little spacer came off with that? That's fine. Just going to make sure it transfers over. Um, sometimes they stay in the, uh, the the dome ring here, and sometimes they come off, but just make sure one gets underneath. Okay, that one stayed in. You can pick them out if you want to, if you have your needle nose pliers or... All right, we're going to repeat on the front, two more here. Simply remove uh, the ballast kit here and set that aside. Now you might want to, you know, keep this handy uh, to transfer any weight you might have in here into the new skid. You will have to reballast the sub once you have the new skid on. Uh, so I already had some screws in here. Let me get rid of those. All right, your your. Uh, your blue view should be delivered, uh, already put together in the integration skid. So you have the head, um, and then we have a ballast skid here that's that's a, uh, similar to the one on the Pro 4 um, that accepts the uh, the ballast weights, and we're going to show you how to do that after. And it's got a, uh, a modem that's potted into the bottom. That's part of the electronics of the sonar uh, that feeds data to the surface. And we also have our 9-pin accessory whip, and we'll show you how to plug that in. So this is very similar to installing uh, the basic ballast skid. These holes will line up um, just like they do with the um, the normal ballast skid. We're going to use the screws that we took off. Make sure those holes are lined up. Make sure you have the threaded nylon or the uh, nylon spacer underneath there. You don't have to crank, the, just look, get these started. Just start it there. Same deal on the back, find the other two.
Alright, and again, like anything else on here, you don't have to crank down the screws uh, impossibly tight. Alright, the next step here is to connect uh, our strain relief. Alright, so forget what I said about keeping that screw on there. I've forgotten that there is a longer one. Uh, that comes with the, the sonar skid. Uh, it's because it's, it needs to reach back a little bit further. So we're going to replace uh, that smaller screw with the longer screw. And you're going to see right above the sonar head where it says Teledyne Blue and White here, uh, there's another thread hole. And you're going to get that back there. Okay, so now your strain relief's good. All right, so now we want to connect the nine pin uh, accessory whip to the sub. All right, to do that, we're gonna have to remove our float block. All right, remove the nine pin accessory dummy plug. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on the dummy plug and the importance of it, uh, please watch that. It'll be on this uh, on this channel as well. We're going to put the 9-pin whip from the BlueView imaging sonar into the back. And you can see that this BlueView uh, whip is one that can be daisy-chained. So, um, you can use another accessory with it, like a manipulator. Um, so this is going to follow the same rules as um, not having a dummy plug in here, or something to terminate the end of this and keep water out. Uh, you either have to put the dummy plug back into the, the blue view, or if you're using it with a manipulator, since the manipulator is a, is a terminated one, it's, it's the end piece, um, you can go ahead and put that on. So there's always something covering the 9-pin ports uh, no matter what. So with the blue view, again, you can daisy chain and use multiple accessories with this. Just make sure the end one is the terminated one, or you have your dummy plug and you can stick that in the back there. So that's how that should look. And we'll keep going with this one. Um, if you have, uh, if you want to install the manipulator, uh, if you just have the blue view, you can stop here. But I'll show you how to put the blue view uh, clamp on this skin as well. So. With that, we're going to remove the dummy plug. I'm going to reinstall the float block. Okay, flip it over again. All right, and you'll see in the bottom of your your blue view skid there are four four holes, threaded holes here and here. That's for your uh, manipulator clamp when you're using the blue view. This is our manip clamp too. It's like the this, the regular one except it's uh, it's it's a little bit larger. Uh, it's the same kind of clamshell design. There's a flat end that's going to go flush against the bottom of the skid and then a top clamp that's going to go over top of it. So fairly simple. There's only four screws to this. We want to grab our manipulator, line up those first four holes. And the same deal with this. There's, you're going to pull it in there until that little ridge. I suggest you watch the, the regular manipulator installation video first uh, so you'll understand a little bit more about what I'm talking about here. Um, slide it in until that it catches that little ridge and then straighten her out. Line up your threaded holes. Clamshell on top. Now this one will be flush as opposed to the regular uh, manipulator on the regular skid. Uh, so these ones you can you don't have to worry about cracking any of the plastic from screwing down too hard on each side. All right. Okay, so get those lined up. Okay, 
So one final step is to complete the uh, daisy chain in the back to plug in the manipulator uh, nine pin whip here. All right, so that's kind of a final look there. What it should look like, there's just the one clamp. So again, remove our remove our float block. So ensure it's correct. All right. So this is going to complete our our chain in the back and make sure that everything is sealed, so there's no water, possibility of water getting in and shorting anything out back there. So. And again, if we weren't using the manipulator, we would have to seal this with the, the dummy plug that's in our kit. It's very important there. All right. Put your float block back on, and now you have multi-beam imaging sonar with the ability to uh, grab and you know retrieve objects from the bottom. This uh, is one of the more popular setups for law enforcement uh, personnel. The government military stuff is the sonar with the manipulator arm and the Pro 4. This is probably one of the best tools that we have, this combination here. Um, you can see in low visibility, grab stuff if you have to uh, with the power of the Pro 4 thrusters. So that's the installation of the Blue View integration skid and the manipulator arm working together.